नमो नम सेवा कुंजे ब्रजे रम्ये गोवर्धने गिरोसरा राधा कुंडे रसानंदे तत्सेवा प्रदायक गुरु नारायण क्यम तंग वंदे विनोद पृष्ठक यदस्मृति मात्रे न धामोधार प्रसिद्धि नमो विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृस्ता भूतले श्रमते भक्ति वेरांत स्वामी नमो नम विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृस्ताय भूतले श्रमते भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती नमने शिवर्षवान विधि विधायताय कृपधये कृष्ण संबंध विज्ञान धैने प्रभवे नम नितानंद नमस्तुभ्यं प्रेमानंद प्रदायिने कलो कलमासनाशा जनवापत नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गराधर श्रीवासरी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे फर्स्ट ऑफरिंग माय कोटि सस्तंग दनवर प्रणाम स्तु गुरु पाद पद्म परमारद्यतम गुरु पाद पद्म श्री श्रीमद भक्ति Vedanta and Narayan Goswami Maharaj Bhakti Vandana Shri Gurudev to the entire Rupanuga Gaudiya Bhagavat Guru Parampara to senior Vaishnav Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis to Randi Sanyasi gan all god brothers and god sisters please accept my dandavat pranams praying to always be under the guidance of those near and dear to Sri Guru Pad Padma to always be corrected and chastised and to always be under this shelter Sri Narottam Das Thakur teaches us his heartfelt mood of bhajan in his bhajans हे नो की होइबे मोर नरम सकी गन अनुगत नरोताम कुरीबे शासन When will that day come when the narma sakis as the sakis and nitya pran sakis will accept me in their guidance and sasan means to accept means to also correct without correction how can we be accepted while we're full of all an artist therefore i'm praying always to be corrected and chastised and in this way <coughs> pray for the opportunity to be under guidance of guru and vaishnavas those who are very dear to guru pad padma spiritual life is described to be like a razor's edge so at every stage of spiritual life we are tested even upon attaining swarup city vastu city we are tested will we enter the group of nitya siddhas meaning will we properly honor and understand the glory and position of or jay shri brijeshwari shmati radhika or will you want to be independent yuteshwari's independent leaders as we see in ras leela this is bhakti vedanta ras leela and what is ras leela teach we must be very careful of so bhagyamad no pride can enter therefore There are two sides we see in different lineages different approaches to sanyas we see those who are in the line of mayavad 
What is their mood of sannyas? Only increasing purush bhav. I will be Ishwar. I will enjoy everyone. I will be God. But this is against our dharma, our nature as a jiva. On one side we hear, Jivera Swarup Hoi Krishna Nitya Das. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna further explains, Apari Yangatastamyam Prakritim Vidime Param Jiva Bhuta Mahadar Yayatam Dharyate Jagat. We are Prakriti by nature, not enjoyers, not Purush. We are Prakriti. Therefore, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu teaches us what does it mean to be in this line of Chinta Bed Abed. And how can we serve in this mood? Therefore, sannyas is not a position of respect and power and adoration. It's a test and an opportunity to enter the path of true, absolute sharanagati, surrender. What is sharanagati? We sing this every day. But singing and practicing and embodying and experiencing and living has a great canyon between it. In the Sharanagati bhajans of Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he gives a song that is under the category Avasya Rakshive Krishna Vishvash Palan. That certainly Krishna will be my maintainer and protector. Palan Karta. And in the song, in that mood, this is the most important aspect of Sharnagati. Gopitve Varunangtata. Krishna is my Gopi Bhartu. Pada Kamala Yor Das Das Anudasa. So are we great sannyasis and increasing Purush Bhav or entering the doorway of bhakti? What is the doorway of bhakti? The Nartandas Thakur sings Nikunjera Dwari Dwari Rohi Bogo. Hari bol boyara madana mohan heri bogo. Bhakti was present, but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his followers, they gave Braja Bhakti Ras. So for us, the doorway to Bhakti is the doorway to Vrindavan. How do we enter that Braj Dham with any Asuric tendencies? Therefore, Sharanagati means. In this song, Bhakti no Thakur, explaining Avasya Rakshibe Krishna Vishwasa Palan, explaining what does it mean to follow the footsteps, to follow the moods, to aspire to follow the moods of the Raja Gopis, and he sings, Chodoto Purusha Abhiman, Kinkari Hoilo Gokulakan. This song explains what does it mean to be Das. Ek Ikshvar Krishna Arsha Britya. Krishna is the one and only Purush. All others are Das. Therefore, Sanyas is entrance into this path of acceptance as aspiring Das, Anudas, Anudas, Anudas. What is the function of the Das servant? When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took sannyas, he sang, he exclaimed, 
Mukunda Sevan Brata Koilin Nirdharan. Now I am taking the vow of Mukunda Seva. The function of a servant is to serve Mukunda Sevan Brata. Bahiranga Das and Antaranga Das also has distinction. But until we realize our seva and we are performing our seva, then how are we das? And without pleasing the object of service and being granted that service, how are we das? Therefore, Shbhakti Thakur sings. What does it mean to give up Purush Bhav and to enter the line of the mood of the Brija Gopis? That, that bhava, as we hear, Krishna swaram janam chasya pristam nijas samanhitam tat tat katar atas chasur kuryadvasam sada. Who is that associate who will favor those jivas who have been given that seed of bhakti? What is the seed of bhakti? What is the bhakti lata bij? <clears throat> because we say every jiva has dormant love of God. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem Sadya Kabunai. But who is that associate of Radharani who will give her mood and entrance into her line? Without that bhakti lata bij and without developing that bij, and cultivating that through sadhan and bhajan, then how can we achieve our position of das and udas and udas? Therefore, Srila Bhakti Thakur explains how can we be accepted as newborn, right? We see in different religions, they have this concept of baptism. Baptized means dvija, new birth. Without death, how can you have new birth? So therefore, sannyas means death. I was speaking with the brahmacharis, at waiting list. You must take sannyas in this life. What does that mean? Death will come, so you can take it by force, death, and then punarapi jalanam, punarapi mananam, again, birth, birth and death in sangsad. Or you can take it willingly by the upward path of liberation. But in our sampradaya, liberation is not purushbhav liberation. I will become God. Because this kind of liberation is mayavad. It doesn't exist. It's like a fantasy, a castle in the sky, in your imagination. There's no such thing. How can you be God? How can you be purush? You can be Krishna, you can enjoy as Krishna. Ek Ishwar Krishna Arsha Britya. Krishna says in the Gita, Prakritim Vinime Param. So therefore, unless we enter that mood of <coughs> Sharanagati, what is Sharanagati? I am nothing. Srila Bhakti Raksha Shirago Swami should say, we have to enter the negative aspect. Negative means, like Krishnas Kaviraj Goswami would say, I am lower than a worm in stool. That is my position. Jogya tavi chare kichu nahi pai tomara karuna sar. Karuna na hoile kandia kandia prana nara kibo ar. If I examine myself, I see no good qualities. If you examine me, you see I am full of bad qualities. But yet, abhada karuna sindhu. Guru pad padma is nitananda prakash. Jejata patita hoi tavadoya tatatoi. The more fallen we are, the more worthy we are of the 
having entrance into the pastimes of the magnanimity of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that he will show so much mercy that even those who are the most fallen of the fallen of the fallen can have a ray of that light of the mercy and love of Gornitananda Prabhu shine upon them in the form of Guru Pad Padma. And then death and birth can be possible. <coughs> Therefore, it's described, people understand sannyas is the path to moksha, liberation. But we're not interested in moksha. Bhukti, mukti, spriha, pisachi. That is, we have no interest in that. But what is the mukti we're interested in? Srimad Bhagavatam states, muktir hitvanyata rupena, swarupena vyavastiti. Factual mukti means swarupena vyavastiti. To be established in our true spiritual position as das. Which das? Unless we receive that admission and entrance into that school of dasatva, servitorship. By the grace of those parikars, associates of Radha Krishna, then we can forever remain outside, praying and aspiring. Therefore, sannyas, as in every stage of life, there's a test. The test in the ashram of sannyas is that, which side do you want? You want Purush Bhav's side, or you want Chodata Purush Abhiman side? Purush Bhav's side means love, puja, pratishta, adoration, respect, fame, res followers, disciples, puja. Now I'm sannyasi, very good. And many people are afraid, why taking sannyas? Now pride will come. I remember in two, 2003 or four, with our whole Guru, Gurukul, Nityananda Prabhu and many others were there in Houston with Gurudev and many nice questions. I remember Nityananda Prabhu asking Gurudev, how do we receive your mercy? And he said, my mercy is like a river flowing. Dive in. And I asked, oh Guru Pad Padma, how do we get rid of pride? And he laughed. He said, why are you asking about pride? Pride is very, like I say this so many times. Ask a good question. What is pride? Pride means when you're very far away, you're proud. When you come closer to bhakti, pratishta, all these things, how can you get entrance? In, unless you are swarupena vyavasati, if you're aspiring for that, then you must be humble. Because you don't have it. If you want something and you have no money to buy it, then all the only Wealth you can use to purchase that thing you want is your tears. <clears throat> right? You, have no, you have, don't have five dollars, one dollar, ten rupees in your pocket, but you want to buy a rasgula. So Vaishnavas say, your only qualification is to sit outside of the shop and to weep and pray and beg that one day someone will give you mercy and maybe the leaf cup will be thrown out and a few drops of sugar will be there and you'll lick that and just look and weep. Or oh, one day I'll get a rasgula. So humility means you're aspiring for something and you have no capacity with which to achieve it of your own. You have no money with which to buy it. You're full of millions of faults. I'm pleased speaking only from my self-examination. I know how much of a badmash I am. Because I am, I am who I look at the mirror and see myself. So therefore, we sing every day, Jogya Tvichari Kichunahi Pai. But we have the right. Why? Guru Pad Padma is Nityananda Prakash, and he performs the Lila of Patita Udharan, Bandav. Guru Pad Padma performs the pastime. It is his glory. We are serving in the pastime of his glorious deliverance of the most wretched and fallen conditioned souls. So therefore, it is our duty to serve in the glorification of our Guru Pad Padma that even a wretch as myself may one day be delivered. 
Therefore, Srila Gorgavinda Goswami Maharaj would say, we must enter the crying school. Kabe habe bolo sedina amar. And willingly accept, like entrance into the fire. The yagya fire means death. As we hear from our Guru Varga, die to live. Then humility is automatic. And if you choose the other side, Purush Bhav's side, then everything is a battle. Everything is a battlefield. Kam, Krod, Lob, Mad, Matsarya, Kanaka, Kamini, Pratishta, Bhagani. But Bhaktisanda Prabhupada said, Chari Ache Jar Seto Vaishnav. Unless you can give that up, Chodata, give it up. We hear from the Vaishnavas. You're holding on to a bone and 20 dogs are chasing that same bone and they're all attacking you. Until you give up that bone, how will you be peaceful? So Chodata, give it up. Like cancer, gangrene. You go to a doctor, chemotherapy, it still doesn't work. Finally, cut it out. Tumor, remove the tumor. This Purush Abhiman. So for our Gaudiya Dara, if we read the books of the Goswamis, Shri Gopal Bhatta Goswami, Shri Sanatan Goswami, Shri Rupa Raghunath, this is not a position of prestige. This is a position of one day, praying and weeping and crying. Mukti hitvanyata rupena swarupena vivastati. Therefore, mukunda sevan vrata koyle nirdharan. Braja kori bas raga nuga hoyo smarana kirtana kodo. This is the purpose of our life. And naimitika lila and nitya lila as long as we're in this material body, we have our duties to perform in the service of Guru Pad Padma. Therefore, this Leela is also important. What is that Leela? How to ourselves always aspire for that entrance into eternal service, and how to also inspire and encourage others to take shelter of Guru Pad Padma and enter that eternal service. Whatever we have in our heart, whoever we associate with and collect as followers will develop that mood in their heart. So therefore, our sannyasi gun dhara is not to increase the legions of controllers <clears throat> and aspiring Ishwars, <clears throat> aspiring to be gods and kings and Raj. Our aspiration is to serve in the magnanimous pastimes of Guru Pad Padma, lifting up and bringing up the flowers, removing all dirt and contamination and artas, and offering to the lotus feet of Guru Pad Padma. Therefore, flowers are very important. How can the f f we go from fool to fool, from fool to flower? Hindi is fool. And English is fooled. But English and Sanskrit is a big difference. So how to go from fool to fool? How to arpa and offer ourselves as puspanjali and offer and train and bring jivas and offer them as puspanjali at the lotus feet of Guru Pad Padma. So finally, this title, Bhakta Bandav, this is Guru Pad Padma's title. And this is like an identifier. Like in the military, you have a metal tag that if you're killed in the battle, you can be identified. Oh, there's your tag, and there's your name and identification. Which platoon, which group? So this is Guru Maharaj's tag, GPS, locator. Who are you? Oh, you're his? Das and das and das and das and das. Identification. Who is Bhakta Bandav? Guru Pad Padma. Therefore, sannyas is like Vigraha Pratishta. Which Vigraha? Gurudev. Vigraha Pratishta. And 
if it's if we can properly observe the vow and the sadhan, then we can carry that like if we have a temple, what is the deity in the temple? So the Bhaktabandha title is representing that the deity in the temple of the body is Guru Pad Padma and whatever Kunji is present in, he is the gatekeeper and he is not only the gatekeeper, he is the Sevika. Therefore, Guru Pad Padma would always teach us how can we pray that one day get that isada, that glance, that indication? What is that indication? Shirupa Manjari Kararchita Pada Padma Gostendra Nandana Bujarpita Mastakaya Ha Modata Kanaka Gauri Padara Vinda Sambahanani Sanaka Istava Kim Karishye When this seva is attained, Surupena seva, then Das, Lab, is, we have achieved our Dasatva, our servitorship. This is our prayer. For the pleasure of Guru Pad Padma, Daivi Vanashram must be served. This will please the devas. This will please the Guru Varga. So Daivi Vanashram means not ordinary Vanashram. Long and hundreds of lifetimes necessary to make any advancement. Oh, then king of heaven, you become Indra. Then you become like this, like that. Then gradual progress. No, Daivi Vanashram means all ashrams, all varnas serving one thing. Daivi, Daivi is who? Who established Daivivan Ashram? Varsha Bhanavi Devi. Dyotamana means that effulgent Daivi, that is Shimati Radhika. She is Daivi. So, Vanashram serving that Mudav, Vrishabhanu Nandini, Varsha Bhanavi Devi Dhaita Das. Right? Shlugo Krishnas Babaji Maharaj gave this title, Varsha Bhanavi Devi Dhaita Das. So, Vanashram, Brahmacharya, Grahastha, Vanaprastha, Sanyas, it would be foolish to say, oh, there should be no Grahasthas in the society. No Grahasthas in the society. Then what is the question of society? No Brahmacharis in the society, only Grahasthas and Vanaprastha in the society. Only Vanaprastha. No, Daivanashram means all ashrams, all varna, all moods, all service, all tendencies. Everything is necessary. Labor is necessary. Business is necessary, right? Administration is necessary. So, uh, how to give teaching is necessary. But for whose service? Shri Varsha Bhanavi Devi, Taita. Therefore, Sanyas Ashram also means once you are dead to Sangsar, Sangsaravasana mor kabitucha have vishaya chariya, like a stool that is once passed. It said sannyas means throwing up all sangsara relations. Then why do you want to eat it again? Prat, pratishta, kanaka kamani. This is vomit in stool. Then again, we're taking pratishta and kanaka kamani. So sannyas means death. Then now I'm dead. Now. Now our responsibility is Krishna Kata. Why Krishna Kata? Because Srila Gurudev is Krishna Kata Murti. Sri Krishna Lila Kathani Sudaksham. So our responsibility in this Naimitik Lila is everywhere. Holding the shoes of Guru Pad Padma to our head, praying for a particle of dust from his lotus feet. And everywhere, only what? Guru Mukha Padma Vakya Chite Te Kuriya Aikya Arana Kuri Homane Ash. What is Guru Vani? Guru Vani, Gauravani. What is his message and his mood? Now he will distribute. I am not, we are not Bhakta Bandhav. Guru Dev is Bhakta Bandhav. And now we have our tag. Oh. Footstep follower, why? Guru Maharaj Nityananda Prakash, he is showing his glory. But the, right? Jejata Patita Hoi Tava Doya Tata Toy, that even he can uplift the most fallen. Therefore, he is giving his identifier. Now, if we lose that and we want Swa Abhiman, Guru Abhiman, then it means Vatsa Sura, Pralamba Sura. Not Guru Pad Padma Das and Udas and Udas. Now, 
culprit, criminal. Guru Abhimana Tyaji. Vani, Vapu is the same. So if we serve Guru Pad Padma, Guru Vani, Guru Mukha Padma Vakya, what is Gurudev saying? What is Gurudev teaching? Here Gurudev taught like this, Gurudev taught like this, is Gurudev's mood, how to follow Guru Pad Padma. This is Gurudev, we are only like, Bhakti Thakur would sing, the unworthy aspirant praying for the service to sweep the Nam Hatta. How can I sweep the Nam Hatta grove? Therefore, Sri Prabodhananda Saraswati Pad gives us this prayer. Yat kinkari shubahu shakaluka kuvani nityang parasya purushasya shatarta moli tasya kadara sanidir brishabhana jaya stat keli kunja bhavanangana marjini sham. May I become a stick in that broom that sweeps the kunj. This is our mood of sannyas. Which kunj? Our only option is to be in Guru Kunj. Wherever he is, why otherwise we have to find another father and mother, but you're going to adopt a new father? A new father will accept, a new mother will accept. You already have a father, you already have mother, you already have family. Then, that Keli Kunja Bhava Nangana Marjini Sham, you can only sweep Guru's Kunj. So therefore we're praying for that opportunity. And unless he gives us that grace and blessing and we're engaged in that Surup Seva, then how are we performing our obligation to follow Salan Bhajan? Entering the school but not taking the course in class means failing grade. And our whole life we can fail and fail and fail and fail. Or we can gradually pray one day, oh, I'll get a D, 60%, 65%, 66%, 50%, 68 percent, 48%. But unless we're doing our mantras properly, then it means we don't even have the opportunity to fail. Unless we're chanting Guru Mantra and Guru Bhajan Pranali, then it's a default failure. Like if you are in a school, but you don't follow the classes in the school, you automatically fail. So what is the class in the school? Swa mantra namne. What is the mantra Guru is giving? What is the bhajan shiksha Guru is giving? And how can I give my life to that and be dead in society? That is my prayer. I'm praying for that death and to remember, always remember. That's why you see in some lines they kapalik. They keep a skull always with them. I am dead. Christians also keep it, a skull on their desk. I am dead. Then I can realize this body, Jad Sarir, is already dead. And one day I can become alive. Swarupena Vyavastati. Without that, there is no life. It's all death. So, Kam Krod, Narakira Dwar. Kam Krod, Lob, these are the pathways to hell. Hell is open for any ashram and any varna as well as Braj entrance. From any ashram we can enter or we can go down. So we're praying how can we follow that path and uphold that maryada and always remember Guru Pad Padma. Why Vigraha Pratishta is only as good as, like you can have a temple in deities, but if you don't serve the deities, or you don't offer anything to the deities, then the deities will say, oh, you don't like me, then I will go then that Guru Pad Padma's presence in his title is gone. Then only the shadow, only the Abbas, only the Chaya, no substance. So we're praying that one day be worthy of that Keli Kunja Bhavanangana Marjani Sham, being one stick in that broom. Therefore, Dhanta Trina Kori, holding a stick between the teeth, that is our prayer. Hare Krishna, Vanchakapadri Vasikripas in the Vivichapitanang Pavanibhyo, Vaishnavibhyo, Namon Maha.